muted. Hi there, I'm Mark Sebastian, founder of OptionPit.com, and this is the AM Volatility Report. Reminder, this is for educational purposes only. Now that it should be considered a best advice, consult your financial professional. Options have risk. So let's talk about the market. Well, here we are again. We're up a little bit, and vol is down more. Uh, it is amazing how much they can bring volatility down as nothing happens. I mean, let's take a look at the SPX real fast and just explore its realized volatility, which has been just incredibly low. So let's look at 10 and 20 day historical volatility. I'm just pulling up on a wall chart. So 10 day vol and 20 day vol are both below 6%. Even 30 day vol is less than 7. 60 day vol is less than 7. 90 day vol is less than 8. This is a historically low period of market movement. And so when you look at a VIX of 1120 or 1176, depending on what you're looking at, the answer is yes. That's about where it should be. Right? Yeah, VIX is in the 12s. But we would note that there's a little bit of increase in its implied volatility. By that, a pretty decent one from uh, having hit low lows in the, the 60s all the way up to thing. If you want to look at VVIX, which is the, the listed index if you don't use live all, you can see it's had a nice run from uh, the mid-70s, mid, you know, mid-high 70s, all the way back over to 93. That's a strong move in, in option premiums. Uh, and a sign that, uh, hey, maybe... Uh, you know, maybe there's some uh, some some hedging going on. That that would be what's driving that, All right? And as I look at kind of VIX term structure, all right, you know, we continue to be astonished at kind of how volatility is moving. Um, I think in relative terms, there's about 40 days until March expiration, and it's trading 2.6 higher, 2.7 than the cash VIX, and really only two higher than the VIX month that it expires into. You know, that's a little cheap, given how much time there is to expiration, right? I mean, and then April, which is less than a month later is trading at a full one and a half points higher. That is probably, if, if March, probably a little high, but not too high. I think um, March should really be up a little bit in April about where it is. That's kind of the way I view overall volatility right here and where I think there, there's money in these trades. All right. So April probably fairly priced. March looks too cheap. March looks too cheap. All right, now looking at kind of stocks in general, Apple's been on a huge rally, um, probably getting a little long in the tooth, at least for a day or two. Expect some money to come out of that um, and before it makes another leg higher. I'll, I'll be interested in Apple when it makes a serious run above 134. Um, Although, it, and it, you would notice its volatility did catch a little bit of a bit. Uh, Amazon continues to be kind of creeping back higher after taking that earnings dive. Uh, Google kind of stuck in a little range. Uh, Facebook, which was off to the races yesterday, uh, not giving a lot back today. So Facebook might be setting up to make a serious leg higher. Um, the financials continue to be range bound. Really, everything since we had that big breakout in November, December, everything's been pretty range bound. Everything's been pretty range bound. Uh, you know, Tesla is moving again, which is is interesting. Um, and you know, there's some names like that, but but really, uh, that's about it. Now, 
we did have Twitter earnings today, and what a nightmare! All right, this is a should be a warning for all Snapchat people, people that love Snapchat. Twitter is an easier to use, more mainstream version of Snapchat um, that is getting all kinds of news from the president, and they can't monetize or make money. Um, yes, it's a poorly run company, but uh, they should be just cleaning up right now. And I think that shows you the danger of, uh, of what's going on with Snapchat. All right. Snapchat has a valuation of $25 billion. That's what they're trying to get is a valuation of $25 billion. Twitter is $13 billion. So, and makes more money, has more revenue, does everything right. Snapchat, and, and Snapchat has this super restrictive stock. Like Snap's a disaster waiting to happen. Um, so, you know, lay of the land... Not much of a, not much going on there. Um, and then you have kind of TLT down a little bit after having a nice rally. Gold seems to be slowing down, so I think we may meander higher, but that's uh, don't expect that an exciting day today, folks. All right, folks, if you've got questions, you can email me at marketoptionpit.com or call me 888-TRADE01. Have a good one.